Welcome everyone, today's lesson will be a bit dangerous also for me because today I want to talk about memory leaks in Rust. Now you might be a bit surprised because usually when you start learning Rust or you get some suggestions from one of your friends or maybe by me, we will keep repeating that Rust is memory safe, you will never have memory leaks, you will never have problems with memory. So. Was that a lie <laughs> or not? Because of course we are going into something a bit more advanced here. So usually Rust is very safe from this point of view, but of course the more you know unlock some advanced features, then you might have some memory leak. Uh, before giving us a very simple example, what is a memory leak? A memory leak happens when there is some allocated memory that is not properly freed. It is, and this causes the application to consume more and more memory without the need to, to, have, this, um, to have this memory, uh, to have this memory uh, stored somewhere, okay? It's like an overflow of something that at some point it might even F like full the memory of the machine that is running the program and then of course everything blocks. I will try here <laughs> at some point to, to launch the program with the memory leak and I hope the live stream will not stop there. If the uh, video will stop there, I will probably <laughs> have to start one, one again and, um, and that's, uh, that's it. Okay, so uh, so why are we talking about memory leaks uh, like on this episode, which is like the 50th, the 60th? Because uh, actually you can have a memory leak in Rust once you start using some smart points and you start to point things to others. So you have like a cycle. So a memory leak can be created because there is a cyclic reference. So we have A, which references to B, and B that references to A, okay? So I also made here a simple example. So we will make here an example with a memory leak, and we will try to run here. So in, in a previous lesson, we saw the RC smart pointer. The RC stands for reference um, counted smart pointer that allows us to have multiple, multiple references, okay? Maybe not in the same moment, but it allows us to have uh, multiple memories and then are handled, okay? So uh, in this case, we are using the RC smart pointer and also the ref cell that I think we saw in the pre it was the previous uh, previous lesson. Okay, so first of all, to have this uh, memory leak, we will use a struct with a node. Okay, a struct in Rust is basically an object. Okay, Rust doesn't have the native concept of object. When you re read struct, it's very similar to when you have object in other uh, in other classes. Okay. So this node has just a name as a string and then it has a, a next. So a node can be then linked to another node. You can read here this next is as a ref cell option. This is very important. You should know what the option is in Rust. I think it was one of the first lessons. It's basically to cover the concept of null. Rust doesn't have uh, the concept of null, but uh, something can, can be of type option, and then inside option you can have either sum, which any anything, or none. So this is how Rust handles the, the option, option type, okay? You should check the relative session, okay? Now, what is happening here? Here in this function main, we have this node A, that initially doesn't have any reference here. You see this next points to, to none, which is uh, an option of the option type. And then we have this uh, node B that starts uh, having a reference here, to, uh, so, so the next to A. Okay, so we have A without any reference and then B that points to A. Okay, so until here, everything is, uh, is cool is nice, okay. 
what is the problem? The problem is that uh, we saw in the previous lesson that with a ref cell smart pointer, we can have a mutable reference at runtime. So what does it mean? That the compiler can't find these errors. It doesn't make sense because ref cell allows us to do st stuff uh, at runtime. Okay, so it's out of the scope of the compiler to understand uh, to understand uh, the logic. Okay, it can't catch uh, an error here. So what if we do this? Check the line uh, 34 here. We have the node A, and we set the next with this borrow mute, which is a method uh, provided by the ref cell smart pointer, and we make uh, the reference to B. So we are basically in this uh, situation. So we have A that points to, so we have B that points to A when we define the, this B node, but also after we define that, we have A that points to B. So can you see this uh, uh, cyclic reference? I want to stop uh, uh, maybe a minute if you want to ask uh, uh, anything, and then we I will try to run the code and, and see what will happen here. We have a couple of prints, and then we will try even to print uh, this whole thing. This is the dangerous line. Line 42 is the dangerous one. Okay, so if you have anything that you want to ask, this is probably the moment. Let's see. So we'll make this example, and then we'll have the, the example it will solve this memory leak because this memory leak can be, let's say, kind of easily solved. How? Using another smart pointer. Okay. So, what should be clear is this uh, even if you can't understand exactly the code, you should at least uh, understand this uh, part. So, we have node A that has a next B and B that has as a next A, you see here. So the B as a, ne as a next A when we create this uh, B node. And then we have a mutable reference to A. We can do this because this is of type uh, ref cell to B, okay? Re again, ref cell is a smart pointer to have uh, mutable references at runtime, a very powerful uh, uh, smart pointer. Okay, smart pointers. This is, and today, uh, today it will be the last last lesson about smart uh, smart pointers. There are there are more, but let's say smart pointers they enable superpowers in the code. Okay. Okay. So let's try now to print. Uh, what is this? Okay, let's try to print uh, these uh, lines 36 and 37. So if we type cargo run, okay, we have a warning, uh, no worries. But we can see here that the, the count of the references here is not one, but is two, because basically we, it also counts the, um, the reference back, okay, and this is very bad, like having these two here is very bad. It means that uh, basically a cycle, a cycle has been uh, created, okay. Now, let's try this <laughs> dangerous thing. So I want to uncomment this line. So why am I so scared? Because this line can actually <laughs> like fool the memory of my PC. I hope not because I will stop it, but let's see. So we have this um, um, printer and what does it do? It prints the A and then it will, it will print the next. What is the problem here? Why am I, so, am I so scared? Because A will print the next, which is B, and then B has a next, which is A. And then A as an X, which is B. So this uh, we sh this should never end uh, until we'll have uh, probably a stack overflow in the machine. Are we ready? Let's do it. Just in case. Bye. <laughs> I almost thought like to don't do that uh, during a live stream, but let's say you only live once, so let's just do it. <laughs>
Ok. Bye bye. Bye bye, Bob. Let's try. So I uncommented this, uh, this line. Ok. And now let's try Cargo Run. Let's see what happens. Bye, Mohamed. <laughs> let's try. Ok. So. Okay, the live stream didn't didn't block. <laughs> but let's try to read what happened here. You see, uh, this is like this is something that it should not work in Rust. Let me put this uh, here. Can you can you read? Uh, wait, let me do like this. Okay. So, now you can see it got it nice. Yes, so at least but check here how many it did print before going on the stack overflow here you see let's read here error process didn't exit successfully targeted but memory leaks uh, st stack overflow so you can actually have a stack overflow in rust we actually we basically broke rust <laughs> i'm loving this lesson um, now it's possible to learn java rust python c c sharp Learn 10, 21 languages to get a job. Yes, absolutely. I check job posts. They want Java, Python, HTML. Full stack Java and also no Python. And, and soon probably also Rust. Okay, so uh, we are still here. And as you can see, we have a stack overflow here. Okay, and, and this is a very... This is a very simple uh, uh, like program. This is a program of 40 lines of code. But think like having like... Uh, a way more complicated program that just fills our memory, okay? We publish one more than memory unlock. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But because this, basically, after a while, it, it stops, okay? So, the, what I wanted to show here is just that we can actually have this cycle and we are also printing all these uh, references, okay? <laughs> yes, Mohammed. So we are still here. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm happy. Now I want to try to, uh, to basically fix the code because I don't want uh, this uh, cyclic uh, reference. I want the memory to be uh, freed in the, in the proper way. So let's make some uh, small changes uh, to the code. It will not be... Uh, that long okay we'll basically just use a wrapper uh, on this uh, ref cell on this rc sorry and uh, let's let's do it so how can we solve uh, this leak we can use um, a smart pointer called weak then despite the name is very powerful so it's weak it's called weak because uh, it allows us to have a sort of weak uh, reference so that's the reason it's not because it's weak itself a question in rust for example complex syntax how you remember uh by practice yeah okay so let's import this weak uh smart pointer here okay and then we have to do some um, some modifications here to the code. Okay, so instead of here, instead of, instead of having this RC, this reference counted smart pointer, we can use this weak. Okay, so we we this allows us to don't break the, the code. Okay, and here instead of having this RC here, when we have some, basically here we can have this RC downgrade so this does mean that we will have a weaker reference so rust can actually handle this cyclic reference like this and this for downgrade b and i think that's it uh, for now that's it i want to try let's try it out it should be already be enough, but uh, let's try. So I changed the code just a bit. Cargo run. It worked. So can you see that basically now leaving even this line, which uh, sounds a bit dangerous, 
we had basically just this uh, next uh, with this weak ref that basically breaks the cycle and also we have to remember that we had a two here instead of here we have just a one because the let's say the the strong count here is just a one okay so we managed to fix it so that's uh, that's great i also want to show you i want to add some more code here below and then we will be done so we want to fix and end the borrow early okay uh -huh. let's do this so we can define this um, uh, variable called weak opt which stands for option and we can have this uh, a equal a dot next borrow which is a um, method for the ref cell we used that in the previous lesson Cl clone yes and then after that um, uh, comma we have this so we have if let so if we have some or some connections some uh, reference here we will print it okay in this way otherwise this uh, we will print b next is known okay uh, okay i want to check if this makes sense uh, okay uh, perfect so cargo run okay and in this case in this case we have this a next with this one and for the b one we have we have this other one which is uh, this one okay so this does mean that b still is still a reference but uh, it's it's not the strong one okay and uh, this is the end of this memory leak lesson and also the end of the smart pointers section this has been kind of long section i think five or six lessons in the next lesson things will start getting very interesting because we will talk about concurrency in Rust, which is probably one of my favorite uh, topics. So we'll use a thread, uh, messages, uh, we'll have fun with, especially with the next lessons. This uh, is um, the end of the smart pointers, but to you, we have more. I think we saw the box smart pointer, RC, ref cell, and week. So we think we, we, um, we saw just four smart pointers. I think that during the concurrency um, section we will also have uh, some new smart pointers because uh, i also mentioned this in, uh, in in the previous lesson and on the lesson about rc many of the smart pointers that uh, i i introduced here they are for single threaded programs so for multi-threaded programs there are different smart pointers okay and okay perfect so this is the end of this lesson if you have any question you can drop a comment below and see you in the next video bye